even though and the sign says it. Off already, and we could walk oh. outside. Yeah, no, well, I'm just. I'm it's just private. Do we could go out there. We could go outside. I thought you said it was public. You're not supposed to. I, I can videotape anything I can see from the public space. I'm not going to have this conversation again. I'm going to do my thing. And if you get in my way, then it's going to be a problem. That's all I got to say. All right? Deal? All right. Hello, everybody. This is Amanda, also known as Pink Camera Magic. And welcome to my channel, guys. Today, we're going to do a really quick audit here of the Bear County Public Works Service Center, which is open to the public, and it's located in Bear County, which is San Antonio, Texas. So let's take a look and make sure that these folks honor and respect our First Amendment right to record and document what public officials, or not officials, but public employees and officials do. Let's check it out, y'all. All right, so we got the camera here. So like we're checking them out, they're checking us out as well. This is oh, these are guidelines for COVID, I'm guessing, of course. Cozy. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, this is blood pressure. That's awesome. It says office this way. Hi. Hi. Is this open to the public? Yes, my husband's a public office. Oh, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Can you just, how can I help you? Take your time. 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 Take your did you want somebody to contact you with? No, them? not at all. All I wanted to do is just um, show around, go around, oh, excuse me, pardon it's me, go around. It's a public center, public office here, but not the whole center. We got a lot of personal information up on the walls. That's what I'm like. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. I'm not going to go in the places that the public's not allowed. Just, it's just here. This is the office right here. This is the okay. office right here. Okay, that's fine. I just want to show like a little guidelines for, for people who want to come and use the services so that they can come in and they know what to expect and put phone numbers and stuff like that. So that's all I'm doing. Yeah, there is no, you just put in a request phone or with me and that's it. We don't, there's nothing else. Nothing. You do like, like people can walk in if they have questions and stuff like from the public? Yeah, they could come in and ask questions here. Um, basically it, you could do it over the phone and I do the request over the phone or in here in person. That's about it. And okay, it seems simple but, and easy. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Okay. Mm. All right, perfect. Well, I'll just do my thing, and then um, and then I'll just I'll be out of your hair in no time. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Are these um, facilities accessible to the public as well? Like using like for you testing your? No. Uh, that's, oh, that's what I'm saying. They, oh. They come, they come and talk to me. It's this is public. not public. All of that's uh, private. That is, there's a lot of employee information that should not be open to the public. I see. Okay, that's, that's what you're talking about. That's okay. why there's an office sign. Here, that's all that's public. Okay. So that's you. not even public. The computers are not public. That's for employee use only. Okay. I'm okay. saying, like, no. It's just to come in and talk? It's just to come in and request something here in public. That I got office. you. Because one thing I would, I would recommend, like, when you come in, because, like, if, if the general public is coming in to, you know, to get services, and you come walk in, it's not, like, restricted. It doesn't say restricted, and there's no boundaries to saying that the, so that, that the public can't come in. So, like... Like someone like myself, I come in. Can you take to, me off? Because all that has to be approved by our main office. Oh no, I I, I, I can't. Unfortunately, this is. I mean, you you work for okay, the public, right? Go, yeah, we could go outside and talk outside. Like I said, there's a lot of employee okay. pub, private information up, okay. accessible to employees only, not okay. for you. Okay, and that's, that's his office. Guide yourself over here. Of course, I, which I totally understand. But what I'm saying is that this should really be 
barricade it off or have a sign saying that it's a restricted area. Because if the general public wants to come in and get services and they want to come to your area, even though Are the sign says it. off already? And we could walk oh, outside. Yeah, no, well, I'm just going to It's just private. Do we could go out there. We could go outside. I thought you said it was public. It's all this oh, is oh, here, employee right. only. This is right. here. Because I guess right. what I'm saying is that it's not restricted. So the public will think Let that. Me call, let me call the sheriff over here and someone to come and sure. report you in. Start giving you information on that. I mean, that's, uh, I don't think that's I'm necessary, ma'am. Again, again, and your information, so I can go ahead and call um, I didn't give it. I mean, I, my name is Amanda. Last name? I'm, I'm not giving all that information. I'm just checking out public facilities that's open to the public. For public use okay right amanda and what is the yep. website what is the i'm i'm i i i'm gonna wait on all that now because it's you just said you're calling the sheriff that doesn't yeah, make any because, sense if you're coming on here there's a lot of private information for employees only right well my thing i mean i'd like to just have a cordial conversation with you because my thing is that if it's if someone, it's we could set it up for someone to come out here and give you all that public information absolutely and but it sort of takes away from give you the correct information and have a guided tour if you need it. Right, but it, it takes away from the integrity of what I'm doing. So it's just here. You yes, just that's fine. There and here. Of it's course. Not, not the whole business is not That's okay. Public. That's fine. That's why I asked you in the first it's place. Right here. And, and I don't think you really heard me what I was trying to suggest. Okay, and, uh, is, go contact telephone number or? No, no, no. I'm just going to do my. Or a web link or. No, ma'am. The site you're going to post that on? No, I'm just going to do my own thing in the public area is a place that I'm allowed to be in the general public. Yeah. Because you're offering a service to Bear County, right? Yes, it's a public service. Yes, yeah, absolutely, and it's open to the public. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I was doing, and what I wanted to suggest is that anybody who comes in will think that that's it's open. Already... I don't think you're listening to me at all. <laughs> Have them come over here real quick, like now. Thank you, like now. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're trying to hear anything I'm trying to say. Because <laughs> I'm saying suggest suggesting I'm if people. I'm on film. You're recording. And yes, the office right there, it is public. Yes, ma'am. It's a plug, so you could come in here. Yes, ma'am. We can help you with service requests. Oh, what's your name, ma'am? And that's it. Not all the campus is public. And right, what's your name, ma'am? You work for Sonia. the public? Yes, Sonia. Sonia. Miss Sonia, okay. Miss Sonia, thank you. I just need to know your last name, contact information, the link. The well, at this point, I'd rather not give any more information. The link you're going to be posting it on. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, don't want him to give any of that information at this point. Well, I'm not giving you permission to air this, me as personal, because I, I am under... I'm not sure um, if you knew this, but... You're working hours, and I'm not giving you permission and authorization to release that video to yeah, the public. Yes, ma'am, and, and I appreciate that. When However, you, you got to understand that you, you work for the public. Yes, when we set up an appointment to set to record a video, and you could air it on your website, your link, your followers, wherever... That has to be given permission by my superiors. It, it does not, ma'am. I, I, no, I, for me. I'm not giving you consent and permission to air this with my face and my feet. Now, if we set up mm -hmm. an appointment and we give you a tour and we're able to help you with, yes, we can. But not as of right now. Right now, you do need permission and authorization from our public relations office to air all this. But as of right now, I'm not giving you permission to walk the grounds. I'm not giving you permission to record me. Y yes, ma'am. Um, well, I have, let, may, may I say something? You are working for the public? Yes. In right a public here. capacity, in a public place? Yes, right Hi, here. sir. Hi. Hello. What's your name? I'm sorry. John. John. Uh, good to meet you, John. So, yeah, so um, I just want to just get my little information, and I don't need any help. And take a look, and I just wanted to suggest that if that's closed to the public, you should put a barricade or say that it's a restricted area, say it's closed off. Otherwise, the general public may walk in and just automatically assume that they can go test for blood pressure and things like that and use a facility. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so what can we help you with? Well, I would like to start over and, and do my thing that I was doing <laughs> with exactly. documenting. Again, but if you're of... going to come in here and start recording, you do need permission and authorization from our public relations office and set up an appointment with our superintendents to give you a tour or just allow you to record. But as of right now, I'm not giving you permission and authorization. I'm sorry, ma'am, but that's not true. That's not I, true. And the fact that I'm you work for, for the public. For me. For you're, me. You're in your official capacity right now, though. You're not like... You know, at home. When you're in public, you there's no expectation of privacy. That's fine. And I wouldn't have even spoke I just to need you. Your name, your at this point, I'd rather not give it. Well, we'd rather yeah. not give you information I mean, you, as well. You well, you work for the public. You work you for do, us. But you need an appointment. You do need an appointment. This, I thought this place is open to the public uh, at certain that, hours. No, it's, you need an appointment. It's appointment only? 
Yes. So the public can't just walk in. To come and do your thing. To come and do your thing, you need an appointment. If you're coming in here for a service request, something that we could help you with, and I'm going to give you a receipt for your service request for your concerns and issues, I will. We could help you with that. That is open to the public, but not for you to come in and start recording. You do need permission. Ma'am, I think you're misinformed. You're definitely misinformed, ma'am. That's not, I, I do actually. It's from the Constitution of the United States. That is fine. But as of right now, you need permission and authorization to release any data or any video with my... Uh, it's it's open records. Are you familiar with open records and open policies with the government? Y'all work for the city or for, or for the county yeah, you, of Mayor, right? Yeah, you, yeah. You, you still need an appointment to, to come start in. come in and start videoing and what have you. We will say. Would I do? I need an appointment if I came in just for services? No, you. Okay, well, so I need an appointment to just. If you want to video and you want to start video and taping and recording all my my center, yes, you do. I don't want to do all the center, and, and ma'am, I, I respectfully filming. disagree. You started walking and filming everything when I didn't give you permission we, or authorization you told, to continue. That was before you told me it was locked up, that it was that was restricted, and there's no lines showing me, or no signs saying it's restricted. And then when well, you told me, what did I do? Is, common courtesy is when you walk in, you see a big sign that says office. You direct and that's what I did. Office, that's exactly what I did. And you walking through and recording yeah. and recording all... It's not all open to the public. I'm I know sorry. that. I, I did exactly what the sign said. Okay. Did you want to set up an appointment with our... I don't think that's necessary. I'd rather just do what I want, what I came here to do in the first place. Well, what, well we're done. What is it? Okay, then let's start over and do my thing then. Yeah, yeah you need an appointment. You do need an appointment. That's, that's not true, sir. If this is open I, to the public, I can come in and I can... Okay. okay. Uh, you, I mean, you could just call the uh, our rep for that. That's all, you know. Yeah, and, and I literally would have been in and out by now had I just so, been let to. But yeah, you are going to have to make an appointment. I, so I mean, your contact information. That's that's all we can do. Right, and 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 I, I respectfully disagree with you. If this place is open to the public for us to come in, and it doesn't say open up. You literally said that it's only. I only need an appointment if I'm coming to record. You didn't say I can't just walk in as a member of the public looking for services. So what I'm doing is I'm documenting the services that are available so that we can let the, the people of Bear County we know what someone, you do and where to get it. Call you, set up right, and I can do it myself too. I'd rather not do it that way. And, you know, give you the proper I, I'd rather do it when it's, when it's, when it's, when you, and you're doing your normal thing. I, would, I don't want it to be like a setup for a interview. I don't want to do an interview. I'd rather just walk in. Okay, so you could start recording yeah. and walk out. If we're not gonna exactly, and I would have been gone a long time ago. Okay, well, thank you, you know, we could go ahead and start walking out, you know, because... Well, I got to start over. Gonna, no, we could go ahead and <laughs> I didn't get to do what I was going to do. Set up an appointment so we could go ahead and... I, we're just we're talking in circles here. I'm just going to... Yeah, we could set up I, I apologize. I'd rather not engage anymore, anymore and just do what I was going to yeah, do. Let me just uh, we'll get our uh, contact information. We need your so you contact information. So someone could call you. We could find out where you're uh, uploading I don't want to give my contact information at this point, especially with the way that I've been well, treated. Well, if we're being recorded, yes, you do. It's not true, ma'am. That's not true. So then let's go ahead and walk out and then set up an appointment. And then we're asking you nicely and kindly to please walk out before we call the sheriffs to come out here. I'm asking you nicely and kindly as a member of the public, and you serve the public, to let me come in and finish conducting my business so I can leave. And I would have been gone a long time ago. And you just want to call the sheriff? What do you think is going to happen with the sheriff? We're kindly asking you to leave the premises and set up an appointment to continue re uh, recording. That's, that's ridiculous. You understand everything is public record, right? We're asking you to... Well, yes, but not to, uh, not to hear. That's we're just asking you to yeah. set up an appointment and start recording elsewhere. Stop recording I don't think you heard me. I, I don't want to set up an appointment. I want to come in the natural environment. Uh, well, when you're doing your normal job and no, serving no. the... Okay, so well, that needs to be set up. That needs to it doesn't have to be like set up. Said, if it's um, in the, not in a public a facility. Of information here. It's not all public. We'll get your request. Well, if there's something that's really personal, okay. you need to hide it then or get it away from the general public so that we can't see it if that's the case. Otherwise, we're fully able to just come in and access areas that are open to the public, which you said this area was open to the public. Except for me, because I'm recording, and that's a, a direct violation of the First Amendment. That's a violation of my rights of coming in and, take, and getting information for Bear County. Uh, like I said, you need to make an appointment. We can give her the, we can give you the contact. Well, I'm, this isn't for a commercial venture, I guess. I, I don't, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not trying to do an interview and, and see what it's, I wanna come in 
randomly, like like like. Well, an, it is to be set up. That's what I mean. You just got to make it. Not if it's open to the public, sir. I I, uh, I know, respectfully wait, disagree with you. What is the what, what is the protocol for going to go uh, constituent off the property? Go, you know, that's our Do protocol. Do I call SAPD you need or to talk to our Cheryl's office? And then she'll, you know. Okay. Then go ahead. Get you set yeah, up that's, to whenever that's even possible. I don't even think that's possible to do, but you can ask. Yeah, I would much rather just do my thing randomly. That's the whole, that's the integrity of what I'm doing. That's the whole purpose is for it to be random. I want to see you guys just doing your job and serving the public and not even interfere with you, not even bother you or talk to you. Well, just take a couple little videos in the public areas no, and like go about said, my business. You just have to, you know, talk to the right people. That's all we're just asking. You need to let them know. I, I really don't though, know. sir. I really don't have to let anybody know I'm coming in. Yeah, as long as I'm here during regular hours, open to the public, and I don't go in restricted areas. You do need an appointment. That's what I'm trying to say. You need an appointment. So that needs to be taken care of first. I think you're wrong, sir. In fact, I'm, I'm, I know you're wrong. Well, I'm just following our guidelines. I, I, I get that. I totally understand. But at the same time... Uh, did you want that information? No. Correct. No, sir. Thank you, though. Okay. The idea is it's supposed to be amateur and just a citizen looking at, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And since it is open to the public, Hi, I think it's really important I to know. Is this supporting some type of issues you're having with the road, sign? I mean, no, I don't know what no, that's no that's this is just to give to the, pu the general public if they want to get services here. Oh, well, so we, they know the numbers to call, yeah, they we, know what to do. We have a lot of HOA meetings, let them know all the services we do. Okay. So I don't know that's something, uh, I don't know if you're part of that's an good. HOA. Yeah, no. no okay, so. I'm just an independent you, journalist, do basically. Live, do you live in a. Yeah, because Of course. Have, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, they can always contact us. We, we have uh, Did, meetings, and uh, depending on the area they're in. Mm -hmm. So, and we do provide all the, let them know all the services. Right. So. Uh, good, good. And, and I'm just, like I said, I'm an independent so. journalist. Just doing my thing, gathering some information now so that I can give to the people of Bear County in case they want to get services here, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah, okay. and well, actually, you know, that's how we normally let everybody, everybody knows we do have meetings with the HOAs. I got you. So a lot of the communities that's are, are aware of all the uh, services we do provide, so. Okay, excellent. And then mm -hmm. I can cut and chop this so that <laughs> it can show you talking about the services, because that's exactly what I was looking to get. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, well, like I said, normally we do them in the meeting, but I mean, we can let you know. I mean, I, I don't know what area or what neighborhood uh, you're from. Uh, that also pertains to the service center because we, we have three of them. So okay. I don't know what side of town. I saw, yeah, this is the one that's closest. I saw the other ones too, but I figured I'd come here since it was closer. Okay. It affects me directly. So I wanted to, you know, like if, if for instance, let's say a customer, they're not sure, they, they're interested, and they, they notice they have like, a pothole or something. Y'all take care of potholes in the swing? Yes. Okay. And they have an issue, and they're not able to get in contact with somebody via yes. email or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, then they want to come in and talk about it. Yes. Yeah, well, you need, yeah, normally, like I said, you, need, you do need to call our public relations person mm -hmm. and go set up an appointment. Gotcha. And that way, everything sets, well, that's our protocol. We do need to just get an appointment. Okay. So, this is, a, well, this is not normal. You're doing, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It should be, though. You know what I mean? I mean, as far as well, transparency. No, it does need to go. That's, you know. I mean, if the public can come in here, then. Well, like I said, but, yeah, to, if they to want to report something. Maybe they don't like calling yeah. or using computers, so they can, yeah. you, know, you can come in and, uh, or maybe uh, get some trees that maybe fell on the property or they were picking on the right of way. Absolutely. And because sometimes I know, especially for, for older folks, sometimes they don't like to be on hold for a long time or they don't know the internet and how to yeah, function. They'll be like, oh, the service center's right there. <laughs> but for what you're doing, yes, you do need an appointment. Yes. Okay. Well, like, like I said, though, I mean, I, I respectfully disagree, but hopefully we'll get some clarity in a minute. Um, I mean, I could have been gone a long time ago. <laughs> uh, well, like I said, you, well, I mean, like I said, we're just trying to we're, we're following our you know, protocol. We do need to make appointments. Yeah. Uh, right. And you know, I'm just so you know, FYI, that actually becomes a public record. When you do that, just I mean, I could literally do an open records request for the footage on there. 
because that's how open records i'm not going to i mean if i could and i'm just letting you know which is fine you know i mean obviously if you want to record it it's by all means but i'm just letting you know that i'm not sure if you knew that or not so but you don't have to worry i have no bad intent i'm just literally here just documenting the process so i wouldn't be so worried and he gave me good information i would have been gone a long time ago but i think transparency in government is like really important you know if everything from obviously like the police and stuff to like the basic services that are provided and that's part of the main reason why i come here and do this like i said i'm an independent journalist and i just want to gather content and information for citizens of Bear county Absolutely. that's all no, that's fine and well, like i said we can give you the contact information so public yeah. relations i'll take it I'll, I'll, I'll take contact information uh the number for i mean i have it here over there Uh, which is another good reason why it should be okay to let people come in and just record and because it's might be hard taking someone away from their day I mean, well, I could give you the, the main office and just ask for the public relations uh, person. It's, uh, just the main office? Yeah, but ask for uh, public relations. Relations. Okay. And uh, they will uh, kind of come All right. I'm just going to do my thing again and just sort of start off with my intro out there and just kind of start over because the video got kind of messed up. <laughs> so, um, so I'll be back. I'm going to do my thing. Uh, what are you gonna do or what i redo my intro i was gonna make i was making a video so i just wanted to do a quick little panning and then of the service available i don't even need to talk to you or anything you know you just completely ignore me and go about my day mm. well, like I said, you need to make an appointment i i think okay we're talking in circles i really don't need to make an appointment this is public this is open to the public. It's publicly accessible. This is not a restricted area, that is. But even though you don't have any not, kind of... Not to make videos. That's what I'm trying. You need to make it if, if I can be here, I can use my phone to record. I'm, I can't set up a tripod and make a production. But I can literally... This, is, this would be covered yeah. under free speech. Right here. Please. So that's why we get, you need a call and make an appointment. Who would I make an appointment with? Public relations. Just public relations. Yeah, big, yeah, five to six people there that would be able to help you. Okay, because yeah, then like I said, and I, like I said, we're talking in circles here. I just want to go ahead and do my thing and go about my business. We, it'll take away from the integrity of what I'm doing. I can't just come in and, and set an appointment and then you have guys like clean up and whatever and set a certain time because this is open to the public. I'm legally able to just come in, you know, say hi, go take my video or whatever I want to do as long as I'm not disrupting anybody or interrupting business and then do my thing. Did you want to take her over there? Because like, she is interrupting business. Did you want to go ahead and be out there and help her out with more questions while I start? Well, I don't need any more help. I just need to do my thing. So what? if it stops, I'm going to just do it over again. <laughs> I mean, because everybody's out at work. I don't know what you want to video to. Nothing. I just, the areas that the public can access, the way the public can get in. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Well, they, that's this is pretty much where you can just access right here. You put in okay. a request. I don't know what, what that's employees over there. I, I didn't say I needed to go over there. So, I want to go where I was told that I can go, which even though it's not barricaded off, I'm still going to respect that and not go over there. But it sh you need to let the public know that they're not allowed to be back there. You know what I mean? By saying this is a restricted area or... You know, there, or have some kind of a barricade to indicate to the public, general public. Because, like, if I come in, one of the first things I want to do is go check my blood pressure. You know, I'm just coming as, as someone who's kind of naive and just wants to, you know, get okay, services. If you want to take over that, you have to start taking. I have three. three you don't, you don't have to you take me. I'll just do my thing. Go ahead and, uh, because right. I do have three phone calls on So, typically, okay. So, I'm going to walk in and there's a sign for the office. Pardon me.
Again, that is not public. Access. Oh, this that isn't? Is public. Oh, because they got the signs and stuff right there. Over here. So you walk in, out. I have oh. too much private stuff. It's employee information. It's empl it's private okay. employee information. Okay. I got to start over. <laughs> All right. Let me start okay, over again. To the right. To the right. right. To the right. There. That's it. This is public right here. And that's it. That's it. What about the office? <laughs> I could have been gone a long time ago. You guys just keep interrupting me. <laughs> that's that's employee only. Okay, take four. <laughs> Don't you? Have, I thought you had things you had to do. I have to call on cue. We do. Okay, need please to go ahead. But By all means. Yes. You need to set up an appointment with public relations. Okay, I mean, okay, so they, I literally would have been us, gone so long okay. ago. Do you want us to call the sheriffs? No, they're already on their way. They're already on the way. Uh, you called I mean, the sheriff? We need a public relations officer here with you. You're going to start recording. You said this is open to the public. To come in and make a request, a service. Okay, we don't need to have this conversation anymore. I'm, I'm done, especially if a sheriff is coming. I just would like to take my video and go about my business. Again, public relations. What public relations, you call but, them and say, I want to do this on- You said I could come, you in come in and without public relations. When we have permission and authorization to allow you to come in and start videoing and filming as a regular constituent, that's fine. That is fine. Once they give us permission and authorization. I, I, I'm not sure if you, how familiar you are with the Constitution of the United States and how it works. What I'm not, that is not my relations. thing. That's not my uh, thing. That's public relations. That's why I say, say once public it, relations say yes, it's okay. Yeah. That's what we're instructed to do. Yes. So, so you get all of them and. Is it, is it okay for me to go in there at any one time and then I, I don't need from. permission from them that's what i'm trying to say this is a public building this is a public accessible area this not is public business the hours not all of yes them. there's reasonable restrictions such as time date uh, place and manner restrictions as or, far as the first amendment goes and it's the middle of the day if you're just going to come public building for a request but you, you want to videotape and i wanna, yeah i just want to take a quick video different this is something no, different just, so yes public relations I apologize, and like I said, I respectfully disagree. I would just like to do my thing and go about my business. That's but all I want to do. You, you can talk to the public relations and let them know. Like, like so and they give us permission and authorization, and then we let them know what are the scopes that you're able to film and record. That's not how this works. That's literally not how it works. Again, there's a lot of personal employee information out, and that is not public. Okay, well, they should not be in the public area then. You should have private information locked away or in a private area where the public can't see it. You said the public is welcome here. That's why the public comes in, the public sees the sign of this office, the public goes into the office. If you have stuff that's not supposed to be seen by the public, it should not be out for them to see, for us to see. Then that's that be, then that becomes a problem. Yes. Especially you filming and having other people see yeah. all this. Exactly. It's so the when I am here, I get hurt because you posted all the information, all the campus. When it is not open to the public, the, it, the whole campus is not open to the I public. I didn't say the whole campus. I only want to come where I'm ex legally allowed to be, where what is publicly accessible for me. Okay. That's it. And that's all I ever intended on doing. That's all. I, and I even went out of my way and it was respectful of your of your wishes that I only do in here saying that's the only part that's open to the public. Even though all this that you say is not open to the public is not, there's no signage, there's no barricade, there's no way for the public for us to know that. Right? So if you have private information over here, it's not a good idea. You know what I mean? I would highly recommend that you put it up so somewhere. Tell you, we've told you that you're still. I'm not. I'm filming, filming, and you're still going to make it public and risk to. my life because you keep filming and making and it risk all your, available. Risk your life for chairs. I mean, if you have something that's that's, why would it risk your life? That's like that's being extremely extreme. And if you're so worried about that, you probably shouldn't work for the public. Is not the whole campus in that okay, I'm not going to the whole campus. They're, they're going in circles again. Okay, so you need you need to get all the oh. relations. So I'm, I'm asking you nicely if you could immediately. If not, the sheriff's on the way. So I don't know. You so you're trying to trespass me now from a public place. No, I'm just asking you nicely if you could leave and get all the public relations set up in a plan. Uh, for what you're doing, yes, you need that. 
That's that's not true. Well, that's your opinion. I think the sheriff, when they come, they're gonna educate you guys that's, that's and fine. let you know that that's absolutely not that's, true. They no. probably know a little bit more about the Constitution. Okay, than so if you could wait outside and and, and wait for the sheriff. Uh, let me ask you this before I do that: Am I allowed to come in and do my thing quick? No, I'm not. Or right, you, you okay. have an issue? Of, and what's your name? You said it's John. Do you have a pothole you want to? I, I told you why I'm here. And you say your name is John. What's your last name, sir? I've also told you for videotaping, you need to get a hold of public relations. I know you told me. What's your last name, sir? I'm not going to give that information. You work for the public. Yes. Again. But since you don't want to help me out, I'm not going to. I'm not. It isn't about helping you. I'm, I'm How am I helping you? I'm asking you if you could please wait outside. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to tell the sheriffs then. I'm uh, just hoping they would get here soon so I can finish doing what I'm doing. This is insane. This is a public building, publicly accessible. I'm only going in the publicly accessible areas of place that she verbally told me is publicly accessible. You've already done that. It's, that's it. No, I didn't. You all stopped me. Well, <laughs> and a whole conversation about you're this. You're videotaping everywhere else. You're not supposed to. I, I can videotape anything I can see from public space. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's, okay. that's, I'm not sure if you knew that. Obvi I'll obviously, you didn't. And they'll let us know and set up an appointment. I'm not setting up an appointment. The whole point is to come in and have it be random. Okay, for what? What's what's your point? What do you want? So the to the point is that so that the general public can know what to expect when they come in here to get services. Well, we normally, we, I mean that's not normal, but that's why they, they, we just go to the office and say I have a bottle to report. Yeah, I kind of told you that already. Exactly. So they know when to come here. They'll, they'll know now because of this conversation. Assuming that it, whatever I put out, not to go in this area. You know what I mean? So, like, if somebody comes to report a pothole, I mean, for example, they well, come, they'll know not to go in this area, right? Well, they wouldn't. They, they just talk to the, you know, Well, I did. <laughs> well, because you're here for something else. No, because yes. it was open to the, I'm not going to go in an office. I'm not going to open no, the door. You're, you're just trying to cause issues. I don't know why you want to videotape, but. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm over okay, this I'm conversation. You again, can you please wait outside? Okay. If not. I come here to do a job. I'm going to record in here. So uh, no, you cannot come in here. Turn it off. No, I can't come in here. Turn it. Turn it off. I'm not turning turn it on over there in the office. You're, this what? Is, like I said, this is not. If, 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 okay. If something, if you don't want this the public the to see time, it, gonna, you need you, to cover it. Can you please wait outside? Like I'll. Um, you know you can't trespass people from public. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like I would have been in and out a long time ago. So you already told. I'm just gonna oh, I'm standing there, so I can't do my video. Uh, please, can you please stop recording? This is not like a fit. No, sir. Okay, you can give me a new location. Take the voice out. It's probably what I'll do. Okay. Thank you. Uh. All right, you guys. You saw at the service. Uh, I'd be careful when you come in. Just because that not the most friendly. So I guess we'll go around the outside and see what's going on over here. I don't know, guys. I have a feeling they're not even going to come. Yeah, guys. Um, so I've been here about 45 minutes, maybe, and there's no sheriffs. I've been asked to leave three times, as you saw, but I know it's unlawful. And let's see.
guys so there you have it I was here probably a good 45 minutes when I should have only been here maybe 10 15 minutes I'm assuming that the sheriff were not going to come because they probably would have been here by now it's been quite some time so yeah I think this place probably um, needs a return visit that's what I'm thinking maybe a little education so since uh, I was not able to give them the education and the sheriff was not able to give them the education, then it's up to us guys. We need to let them know that it is a constitutional right to come see what our government employees are doing and how they're conducting business. So anyways, thank you so much, you guys. Make sure you uh, like this video if you enjoy this type of content. Share as well, it really helps a lot. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this audit in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much and have a great day.